Talk to us about how during the pandemic we all wanted online experiences as well as in real life. Yes, so with Peak, we help people book experiences. And I think one, one thing that's an interesting part of that is that we help people find fun things to do locally as well as online. And so despite lockdowns, one of the things we realized is that people started finding fun things to do close to home. So that might be taking your kids apple picking. It might be taking uh, uh, renting a boat with your family. And so you know, what we were able to see was that there was uh, still local demand. About 70% of the bookings that we were finding people doing were, were happening locally. And we also saw that there was a big demand for software. You know, There was a need for digitization in this space. So you know, tours and activities businesses have not been uh, the quickest to be able to digitize and, and use online booking tools and, and a lot of stuff on site to be able to help people. And one of the things that we saw was, you know, we actually provide software for these merchants and there was a huge adoption there. So part of the reason we were able to grow so much is because we saw that there, there was a 10 year leap forward on digitization of these offline industries. We're looking at the numbers, about $2 billion in experiences booked thus far, 38 million customers served. I mean, during lockdown, I've done, I don't know, cocktail making. I've cooked Thai with someone in Thailand. I've done wine tasting. I've gone into New York and done donut tasting. You name it, I've booked an experience. And people can see the growth and people are investing in your growth. Just talk to us, Rizwana, about the money that you've been building. I think $80 million just raised. Yes, so we uh, today just announced an $80 million investment uh, coming from Westcap and Goldman Sachs into our business. And, you know, we were in the fortunate position of being a business that despite some of the challenges of the travel space, we've been growing very fast, um, we're profitable. Um, and so we had a lot of folks that wanted to, to be in a position to invest in the business. And we chose those partners because of their expertise on travel. Mm. So with Westcap, uh, Lawrence Tosi, who started and runs that fund, used to be CFO of Airbnb. Uh, and has a lot of experience with uh, investing in other travel businesses like Hopper uh, and Sonda. Um, and then obviously Goldman bringing a ton of fintech experience for us. And, you know, we've done nearly $2 billion of experiences. Um, we, we are the payments layer for thousands of businesses. And so it was important for us to, to bring those two uh, partners together and, and choose them as the investors in this round. It's fascinating that you brought LT from the former CFO of Airbnb on because... As an advisor, would I immediately think of competition and Airbnb must be it. What is it that Lawrence is seeing in your business that isn't in some way a rival to Airbnb or won't be in some way sort of overtaken by Airbnb as a key competitive threat? Yeah, so we really focus on the experiences space, which is a very, very large segment. And, you know, our core... Uh, primary value proposition for businesses is to help them digitize and get online, a little bit like Shopify for experiences. So mm. we provide the merchants with all-inclusive technology. So if you're a business that's a mom-and-pop shop doing parasailing, all the way through to a museum of ice cream or a color factory or, or someone seeing a million visitors a year, we provide the underlying technology to help you do online bookings, to manage everybody who comes to see you uh, on site, uh, to manage your employees, to do everything that you need on marketing. And so actually, you know, our primary proposition is, is being that infrastructure layer, that technology layer to help these merchants um, to digitize. And so, you know, some of those businesses will list on something like Airbnb and anything else, and we allow them to do that. So you can kind of think of us as being quite complementary in that sense. So, you know, we're providing that underlying infrastructure layer, and then we have a marketplace just like Airbnb, but our businesses are free to, to be on multiple places. I think one thing that we've realized is that this is a space where businesses aren't getting enough help to get bookings. And mm -hmm. so, you know, the major marketplaces like Airbnb and some of the other big travel companies you've probably heard of drive less than 5% of the bookings through our platform. And so what we really see is these businesses are still having to do the heavy lifting themselves, which is why having these great technology tools and having their own uh, ability to be able to do great marketing has become so important. That's a fascinating stat, the 5% one. So where are the bulk of people coming to these experiences from? Is it usually through Google or is it through word of mouth? How are they finding out or is it through peak.com? Yeah, so, so it, it's a mixture of those. I would say it depends on the business, but I think we're seeing a huge amount of the heavy lifting happening with the merchants. They're doing their own work to be able to drive customers, right? And one important part of that is obviously, you know, giving customers a great 
customer experience, one of the things that we've done is we've collected about 2 million verified reviews across our platform, about 4.8 stars. And one of the things that happens is the, the merchants that have those best reviews are the ones that then have the, the most folks coming because of word of mouth, because of, because of uh, people discovering them online. And so I think that what we see is, you know, the vast majority come through the merchant's own website. Uh, and then there are small local providers. It's, it's the small local tour agency. It's the small hotel. Um, and so it's a little bit more fragmented in this space. Mm -hmm. And, I, you know, it means that these businesses do really need to have a great grasp and great technology to be able to manage all those channels. Talk to us about the 80 million that you've raised and where you want to put it to work. Are you, are you feeling growth mode upon you as we enter the vacation and holiday season? And, and where do you need to invest most in your business? You know, well, first and foremost, we're tripling our team. One thing that we've realized is that, you know, we want to make sure that we're in a position to make the most of this travel comeback. As you mentioned, you know, next year, uh, consumers are saying that they want to travel again. We've already seen, you know, for our business, you know, there was a big drop off in the early part of COVID, but things came back in a strong way. And so we're focused on that. We're going to focus on our businesses, you know, merchants that we work with. We did that during COVID. We helped merchants get access to $30 million of loans. We gave them really valuable contactless payment technology. We did all of this stuff that was focused on them. And I think a core part of what we do is, is kind of being innovative, right? Building products and technology that the merchants need. So we'll continue to do that. We'll expand our product. We're seeing that the businesses that see millions of uh, our customers a year really need our tooling, and so we'll continue to say, serve those. And we're also going to be expanding and, and into new uh, areas. One thing that you mentioned is how many virtual experiences you did, right? How many things that you did in order to probably bond with your team. And, and I think as we go into a more remote working environment, mm. one thing that we've consistently heard from large companies is we still need ways for people to build personal connections. We need ways for people to have trust. You know, you, you're not going to have great companies unless uh, the people within them are happy uh, and have great relationships. And so we're investing in team experiences, in offsites and things like that, because we're seeing a lot of demand. We're already working with folks from Google and Netflix and Spotify who want help there. And so, you know, you can see us expanding and, and, and doubling down on our core, which is these core experiences, fun things to do locally or when you're traveling um, with friends and family, but also starting to focus on the corporate side as well.